All right, guys, so uh, Fulu coming to you with another commentary video. Um, so, yeah, I I eventually said I was going to get to uh, what Cam Newton said, which wasn't wrong, you know. Um, but, of course, you know who's mad at what he said. They're always going to be mad, though, you know, um, because the truth of the matter is they don't know how to be um they don't know how to be i want to say um they they don't know how to be women anymore that's just the bottom line but let's get into it i had a, a perfect a perfect example of what a man was in my life by my father my parents have been together for 36 37 years now i too had that example when my father was uh on this earth plane um granted my father had two wives you know but still he was an example of what a real man was provided for them took care of them um also like unfortunately lived a kind of turbulent life uh trying to make the future pave the way and pave the uh future for them to be for them to exercise their uh full roles and to reach their full potential as well oh, and it's and it's a beautiful thing uh, I grew up in a three-parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And yeah, and and that's part of African, uh, like, tradition, too. Like, you don't sing your, like, how these uh, American people do. Uh, you don't sing your, you don't sing your loved ones to a nursing home. You, you usually take care of them, right? You usually have them in your house or you have them next to your house so you can take care of them. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is... A but the crazy, the amazing thing about this all is that uh, women, women don't mind being called that, you know? Like, even women will call themselves that. You know what I mean? Like, w women, like, by default, they'll actually call themselves that. Yet, um, they have issues. They, they have an issue, like, basically being referred to as a woman. It's kind of crazy and backwards. Person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I, I, I. I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches. And I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but just to, to, to. You're not degrading them, bro. If they refer to them as such, you're just calling them what they think they are. Off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman for me is. Handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, right? And what? so the problem is, what's wrong with that? Like, what's wrong with, like, a woman who, okay, I mean, it's kind of obvious that, like, a woman is, it's, it's kind of obvious that a woman is going to, um, especially a modern woman is going to want to get it her own because she's been conditioned to like want to do that and play that role basically but what's the problem like with a guy who wants to um wants a woman to like be a woman to him like what's the problem with that like i i don't see where the issue is I don't know why these women are so upset about that. And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like, I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby, like, but you can't cook. 
Okay. You don't know. You don't know when to be quiet. And that's a fact. Like it's sad to say it, but like you see it on Clubhouse all the time. Like that's why in this holy month of Ramadan, I am taking. I took a break from Clubhouse. I haven't been on that app ever since. You know. Um, the thing is, is that you see it firsthand that women don't know when to be quiet sometimes and just listen. You know, that's the problem. They don't just know how to just like keep it quiet and just listen. You know, I don't think you can learn anything by talking. I think you learn things by listening. You don't know how to allow a man to lead. Um, first of all, Cam. Now, here goes this Bellegio woman who's very, very upset. And, you know, you should see the comment section of her. Like, there's actually dudes cheering her on and things like that. There's actually dudes supporting this kind of madness, calling her Nubian queen and all types of things like that. But let's listen to what she says. We were rooting for you. We were all I watched that Super Bowl where you, how much did they pay you to throw that game, Cam? Since I got you. Okay, she's talking about Super Bowl, but the fact of the matter is he was in the Super Bowl. Like, that's the thing. Like, how many, how many NFL players can even say that they were in the Super Bowl? Let alone how many people can actually, how many NFL players could actually say that, that they, they, or who would have ever thought, like, out of those NFL players, did they ever think that they would even make it that far into the NFL? Like, did they ever think that that was at all possible for them to even make it to the NFL? Like, that in itself is an accomplishment. Of course, you would want a Super Bowl, but she's trying to, like, drag him for not winning a Super Bowl. This man is a multimillionaire. I don't think he even I, I don't even think he mentioned black women. I think he just mentioned like a modern woman. Like I don't think he even I don't even think he used the word black woman. I don't think he even used that word, you know. I had a, a But that's one of the that's one of the um of him on a barstool podcast. So this is part two of like what Cam Newton said. Um, and again, you know, you have these modern women mad at that and you look at how these modern women look and you look at their energy and you might as well like the last masculine Monisha I played here. You have um, a witch and we'll call it combative Karen about to talk, but let's hear what she has to say. Talking about what he thinks a woman should be or what a woman is. And I'm just going to show you it before I go any further. A woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs. Yeah. Yeah. I know we're all thinking the same thing. First of all. No, we're not. At least I'm not. I'm not thinking what you're thinking. Crazy Karen. Well, this is nothing against Barstool. I actually love Barstool. I get it. You're the host. You don't dictate what these people say. But like... And also, um, that podcast is not... She doesn't even know who the podcast was. Uh, the podcast was actually a million dollars worth of game with uh, Gilly the Kid as the host and Wallow as the host. So it's like she doesn't even know... W when women don't think before they talk, they usually talk um, without knowing the full facts of the matter. Actually, I'm sorry, but what the fuck? I don't understand how men still have this idea that women are literally here for them. Well, um, 
if you, chances are, I don't think she's religious. I doubt it. Um, but if we want to be like technical, Allah created, uh, you know, Hawa from Adam, alayhi salam. And uh, the fact that he didn't create them at the same time, maybe it's an indication of like what a woman was put here for. But I'm just going to leave it at that and keep it like that brief. But, so I don't offend, like, because believe it or not, uh, people have been trying to dox this channel, you know, and trying to cancel this channel. Like, you can sit here and be like, that's just one example. Not all guys are like that, blah, 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 whatever. I feel like that as a consensus is the male fucking mentality. Um... The ones that say that not all guys are like this are the simps who are trying to cater to these women and don't have a backbone. Those are the ones saying that. And it enrages me beyond anything else. A woman is someone who can hold their own, is independent, knows who they are, and doesn't need a man to complete themselves. So, in essence, a woman is just a man then. In her in her assessment of the situation, a woman is just pretty much a man. In essence, that's what she's basically saying right here. So if you want to talk about what a woman really is, you can talk about her without having to talk about a man. Because a woman doesn't need a man to be a woman, Cam Newton. Thank you. Also, go ahead and give your mom that hat back because I know damn well you stole that from her closet. So I that, that's another thing that women do. They attack their style. They attack a man's physical features and stuff like that when they're upset. I experienced that um, a while back. I'm not going to name their names, but um, yeah, they attacked my physical features when they were unhappy when I said something about them and their tactics and what they do and stuff like that, but didn't really bother me that much. But let's look at the comments. And um, if you look at if you look at the the original poster of the comment, she said, "What can I say? My two favorite hobbies are talking sports and hurt boys' fragile little feelings. Never thought I would be able to do it at once." Um, Cam spitting facts, you degrading his hat. Um, she thought she did something. So some guys are waking up. You thought you did something, huh? Uh, some even said racially motivated. So some people are actually, um, some people are actually coming for her, which is good. Why are you so pressed, though? Because she knows she's wrong. Just respect uh, people's opinions. Damn, homeboy. I think she, he was talking about a guy. You trying to say your significant other shouldn't cater to you. So some people are actually uh, coming for her. Yeah, so some people are actually um, actually coming for her, which is good. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Another one's mad. Let's see. Hey, y'all. What's happening? Happy Tuesday. Uh, did y'all read what Cam said about you bad bitches? I, I'm just, don't no, she like actually, just she agrees to... with it. So, okay. Shout outs to her. She actually agrees with it. Shout outs to her. I'm just a 
whistleblowing message, honey. He said, you bad bitches don't know how to listen and will not let a man lead. You hear me? Now, I did my research. I done read, and I done read, and I done read. And not one time did I, I ain't find out one lie Cam told. It's just me, though. And this same woman would be called to pick me, though, unfortunately. You know. Let's see. Perfect. A perfect and uh, ungraded woman. To okay. Let me see. Oh. So now they're calling it a sexist uh, rat. I grew up in it th they're, they're calling it a sexist rat now. Let's see. 